I think that that's what. Welcome back to it's a the, 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 Marcus Smith. Yeah, 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 yeah. You cannot yeah. overwhelm me, Marcus Smith. Marcus that's how we start. Yeah, that's <laughs> Marcus likes to try and just like wow. blare words over me. There you go. This hour of the really? podcast will be sponsored by Bye. Mitch. Mitch, Mitchievious. Thanks for the stage. Cheers. 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 Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. There's no overcharge in that. <laughs> oh, oh my wow. God. I didn't know wow. you could do a spit take that good. Um, that's really good, Mitch. Thanks. It is actually really good. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's, it's a stick in a bottle. I, I think it's gotten better, too, actually, because yeah, I've had it now for about four or five months now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's gotten better over time. Hey, James, have you met Drew Murray? I know. That's what I was about to get to. Everybody, we're going to play Sensit Overgrave today. What is today. the stick that's in there? It's a piece of oak that's been charred, so it's like wow. it's it's okay. simulating being in a barrel. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I was you're talking okay. about Sensit Overgrave. Don't be sorry. This is, no, how it's this, this, go. this is what the show is like. <clears throat> All right. This is, the show is very unprofessional. Uh, my name is James Stevens, I'm community director. <laughs> Why did you, you guys, invite me? <laughs> you guys know the guy on the far end of the couch, Marcus Smith, creative director of Sensitive Drive. But you may not remember the other creative director of Sensitive Drive, Drew Murray. Drew Murray. Uh, who is no longer at Insomniac, which brings a tear to my eye. Boo. <laughs> but I'm really still, nowhere. Yeah, so you're really, well, you're you're doing cool shit all the I'm, time. I'm, 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 it's not like I went somewhere else. I'm just no, nowhere. You're, you're just and hanging. I'm hanging right now. Yes. Yeah, I, you know, considering through. my options. All right. right. So check this out. There's a screen over there. And we have all the all the people chat, who are yeah. joining and the chat. Which one is Marcus Smith again? I, well, I'm not That's there. I don't know this man. Yeah. Just remaster, <laughs> remaster Resistance just, doesn't know who Marcus Smith is. Just look at the one in all caps. I do not want to buy an Xbox. <laughs> Which I think perfectly summarizes why we're sitting here. Instead of driving around in, in solid gold rocket cars. Thanks. Uh, and, yeah. Exactly. But we're going to play some, and we're going to start from the beginning of the game, and we all agreed at lunch that we were going to play as a female character. Which Ooh. one? You get, you, oh, this is the first thing. It's like customization by... Um, so sorry, Yuri Lowenthal. I know you voiced the male character, and your voice oh, is Oh, we have to do a man, female character. But we're doing a female character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephanie Either one is fine with Stephanie me. did awesome. Okay. Well. She did so well. Did, did we do... Did we end up doing two voices for the the? No, we modulated show? down. Okay. The, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a little. We weird. talked about doing. We were going to. Voices, right? Yeah. Okay. It was just we had a problem with getting everything on disc. <laughs> a problem with finishing the game. Yeah, you know, that's <laughs> part of it. That's by the way, tricky. by the way, I've got a li- my chaps are my chaps. My lips are a little chapped from just being dry lately, and this on that is like so medicinal. All right, I'm I feel like I'm nice. a, I feel like healthier. Think about, I, my lips are really messed up. If I start oh, yeah. bleeding excessively, <laughs> just let me know. I brought a handkerchief <laughs> to like mop it up. But just out of your lips because your ears have just, been bleeding no, for just my, just my months lips, and yeah. I haven't mentioned it at all. All right, any face options? You don't care. All of them. All right, fine. I'm picking Oh face. my God, do you remember this? Uh, this is something in the chat. Oh yeah. Wow. I, I, can't, I do shave. remember it. Oh, hey, look none. at that. People okay, afro. No. No. Bedhead. Mm. You know how sort Justin L seven. You know how yeah. Justin and Corey are always quiet and like behind the scenes and cute. everything. Let's change that. Let's make those. It's not uh 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 uh. No. No, no corner. Oh right, right. Corey's not around. I'm not always quiet. Crew cut. Crown braid. He can make double noises. bonds. Wait, is this like the he Princess makes, like, Leia bird thing? Noises. Oh. <laughs> ooh, 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 Princess Leia. I actually deleted my save game to do this today, and it hurt a little bit. Fohawk oh, looks, like, uh, looks like Jesse Coombs. Isn't he a new player? It does kind of look like Jesse. Oh. Uh, yeah, but see, this is my not my home Xbox, so I actually have to be signed in on my main account, so I had to use have you, Jesse's Jesse's not going by Coombs anymore. Big, big deals. Ooh, ooh. Guys, do you, 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 you have any You have a Sorry, preference? Sorry, LinkedIn with no. a different name. Queeby? Oh, maybe, yeah. Okay. Did I get married? Yeah. Oh, Chat, yeah they did. Congratulations. I didn't know that she had changed her name. Congra- yeah, Chat, that's, any preferences awesome. on that's your beautiful. style? Our favorite the, people. Yeah. Uh, they were both awesome. You know, she's starting her own company now. Jessie. Good for her. She should. Yeah, they went back up to Seattle. Uh, Jesse All right, let's won't do. be watching this, but if so she so is, so. I'm apologizing formally and informally about uh, what a dick I was throughout let's the Let's do crew cut. Crew no, cut? well... <laughs> We can't let's, do pick, on. let's do pick something. All right, five hours later, yeah. we almost have a character. Well, I was page I, boy. I, do page boy. All right, page boy. All right, cool. We're done. Uh, all right, uh, hair color base. Well, it's got to be cool, right? Well, I don't know. Oh, I, I have a photo of me. I all found right, all I these photos. Found. I went to my dad's house and I found all these weird. Yeah, that's pretty. She's she's overdrive themed. You're overcharged yeah. themed. Oh yeah, she is. Okay, I like she's it. She's overcharged themed. I like it. She's, so she I was found, so into I found the party. a picture of me when I was like 14, and oh, I had no just my hair. bangs bleached. I, I wanted color. to punch myself. Yeah, like yeah. very mm, punchable. Dark green. <laughs> Super <laughs> punchable. Red eyes are 
two evil. What's good dark green? No, gray. I think gray eyes. Whoa, what is going on? Those are the patterns. Oh, it's too oh, much. Other patterns. All right. You know what? Green. Just go. We're going. We're going. We're okay. going. Uh, Thank God there's some gameplay before we get to the closet, right? Proxidus, Spider Phoenix, one, two, point. three, Jason J, ninety three. Can we do it again? <laughs> Thanks for all the follows. <laughs> yeah, follows. Keep it up. Oh, Corey says the haircut sponsored by the Denver Broncos. Oh, that's a good Psychotron says, I know there will be a second Sunset Overdrive. Huh. Okay. Like Interesting. Give them a bowl cut. You know, oh, yeah. Do you Look remember that. these? Growly, growly. The hair is making me... So, when we very, 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 very first started talking about Sunset, like, once it had become what it had become, after we decided it was going to be something stupid, like an energy drink that did it, I remember Drew Murray saying, we have to show when it happened. Like, we can't just be like, three weeks earlier, something happened, and now we're here. Did like I? most, Yeah. Okay. You're like, so So the very first thing we knew we were going to do was Horror Night. Right. It actually yep, yep, yep. Horror Night. Yep. You know, it's funny. It's, you're just running through here, obviously. Yep. That, 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 that walk that he just spent 12 seconds in, I swear to God. It took months. Months. Yeah. months. This, months. Whole this whole this section. This whole section. But even just that first walk, yeah, I don't yeah, know how yeah. many... Uh, hours we spent, I just remembered all the pain of game design yeah. looking at this. Look at that, the hotel. Sweet time. Yeah, showtime. Show yeah. yeah. Sweet home. It's a sweet home. Did the home, yep. Uh, we had a really, a lot of really awesome and smart people working on this game. There, Yes, I agree. But this part did take a significantly long amount of time because of what we were trying to teach. Yeah, like this, a that lot was so on. hard. Yeah, it's like just, the, the, you know what, unlike every other game, shit bounces. Yeah, like I know, but weird. just like watching that, I was like, oh, we... Right. We should have pulled the camera back more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I came here basically to criticize no, my, all the decisions I made. Yeah, to like ago. whip yourself. We're, we're, I'm basically here to make make try to make you guys feel good, but make myself go home feeling terrible. That sounds good. Regret yeah. malt liquor, so it's good. Regret. The signage is pretty awesome. Cafe Bisco. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, the light on that. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, and this is like teaching you to reverse your grind. Yeah. We okay. had a, oh, a bad again. guy, the Herker. the Herker, possibly the dumbest name of any enemy ever. I don't know, it sounds pretty 90s. Oh, I yeah. mean, I'm, I took 100% of the responsibility for Herker. I think I liked Herker. it. Herker? I think I liked it. I mean... <laughs> I think there was a time when I was talking to John, and, and I was like, I don't know, it should be something dumb and onomatopoeic. Like, I don't know, what does it do? It's like, it's, it's just a Herker. It just herks. It herks. <laughs> It would oh, be better wow. if John was, it would be better if John was German. He's like, you mean... Uh, yeah, exactly. It's probably... <laughs> oh, Jesus. It I, means the existential crisisness. It's... Oh. Okay, now you go up. Yeah, and I go back down. down. Uh, now Mikey Barra is in the chat and says, Hey, Drew and Marcus, hope you're both doing great. I love working with you guys on this. Such an awesome game. Mikey Barra. Mikey hey, Barra. Hey, Mike. You were in the room. You? you were in the room and Drew was Thank on the you table. you are doing great. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> it just does you. Flaming commentator. Subtle. It's real subtle <laughs> humor. I forgot that it's so obvious. Uh, oh. You know, sometimes when you're close to things, yeah, it's hard to see them. Mike, I hope everybody at, at Microsoft is doing well. Our friends uh, up there and scattered around the world. It's good times. It was good times. I mean, it was it was hard times, but it was good times. Sure. Now, making all games is, is games hard. are oh, games are hard. If uh, if making games wasn't hard, everybody would do it. Isn't everyone doing it now? Yeah, but they're doing it badly. Okay. Oh, God. Defeat the giant mutant. Yeah, see, I think our, in the original design, we had Horror Night first, and then we sort of retroactively added more of the this tutorial section. Right, and then it comes back to showing the party, right? Or do yes. We yes, okay. we go back to showing you go the back party. To the, yeah, you go back, back to the time. And you get a little flashback of Walter, who's one of my favorite characters, and he was so favorite that, well, spoiler I think we can spoil things. It's been no, it's been a long yeah, It's been yeah, it's, three and a half years. If you, if, if, I think if you care about spoilers like, in this game, be careful because yeah. we're just gonna tell you shit that happens. <laughs> okay, capitalism is bad. Was it, what was it that I was reading? Oh, someone posted. Have you played this in a long time? It's. No. Uh, I did play. We did. A, we, we had Brandon Winfrey in to do like a DLC one, but it's been a while since I have actually played from the beginning. Yeah, they were going to do the DLC, and then DLC didn't work because of a save, save game problem. No, really? Yeah. Yeah. Was, this is one of these where Bobby came in and really helped out. Yeah, I love this, the, this thing with the credits. Yeah, it's amazing. This is one of the original ones, was how we were going to show the passing of time, and we were like, what if the fridge is full of beer, and then it's empty? Yeah. 
There you go. These are great credits. Who made all those? Um, oh my god. Felix? Uh, yeah, Grant? It was Felix, right? Yeah. yeah. He did the end credits too, which are They're amazing. really, so really great. good. Don't be late or you're fired. There you go. That's how you communicate really <laughs> complex <laughs> things. It works. You can tell what it happened. It totally works. You know? Uh, there we go. This is always my favorite too, because when you play as a really big guy, when you see him being pushed around, you can't. Well, he, he's a gentle he giant. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This is pretty good. Yeah. Our uh, Pyramind, who did all the music, we were, yeah. we were having all these talks about the music, and I was like, imagine if a big corporation was doing a party. They would have like the dumbest. They would have like Skrillex playing. Yeah. It'd be like the hot new thing, and it's all going to be dub stepped out. And they're really into EDM, so they kind of took offense. And they did great EDM they did music. Amazing, they did yeah. amazing work. But I... <laughs> the dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it, it's really good. <laughs> Man, we had so many cans of return to E3, and I remember this E3 was so exhausting that I started drinking them at some point. Like, I never drank energy drinks, and I started drinking... Uh, I drank one, and I was like, well, this... Considering I'm parched and I've had nothing to eat all day, this tastes pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, by the end of E3, I was totally hooked on them and it was really bad. I had to give myself a afterwards. <laughs> Clean up. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Dead end job. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I hate this job. God, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> and, then, and then you get on the phone and you play like the... <laughs> this is... This is the part where I remember at some point I was like, I know everybody's really upset about how it's like a video game where you do all this crazy stuff. So here's what I want to do. At this point in the world where this happens, yeah. I want there to be an overturned uh, can with, with all the cans in it and whatever shoes you picked out at the beginning of the game sticking out. So that way if you ever come by, you realize that you died right now. <laughs> like Everything after that is like a fever dream. <laughs> There especially, he is, Fizzy. Especially all the buzz stuff. Oh my god, remember Fizzy? Like, yeah. totally uh, created from that Brian Matheson. Right, Matheson uh, made it into mission. John Paquette is here. Hey, Come John Paquette, how you doing, buddy? Come, come in, in come in. Uh, how are you, sir? I heard your movie was here. You heard yeah. right. Here, yeah, come we're sit live on the internet right, right now. Good to see you. That's right. I'm gonna take a seat. Come on, come on. I actually haven't seen. He's part I, of this. I saw John actually a month ago. Yeah. yeah. Or so. Yeah. And it, uh, Hook Burger. Yes, at Hookburger. Yeah, Hookburger. Oh, great. that Hookburger. What'd you get at Hookburger? Oh, yeah. All right. Now we can really try I don't know. A burger? Wow, you is... might not die. Right. I can't remember what, yeah, I can't yeah. remember what the burgers are there anymore. Yeah. It's They're, been uh, a long time. He had the hook. I didn't have the hook. I had the a barbecue hook. sauce one. Disco yeah. Champion A fan shirt. of ours made that. Whoa! Yeah, it's no joke. Mitch. Mitch yeah. did that. That's really oh. good. That's also, good, right? Also, yeah. hey, we have a QA. We didn't. We didn't have him talk, but we have a QA guy, Joshua. Remember that email oh, I sent out? With he was. Yeah, he, he has a fizzy. I know. He got a tattoo. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. We're gonna stick with that. It's pretty good. The chemical smile from. Do you Island remember all this? No, we don't need to. You know, don't cover it up. I was talking to somebody don't the other day. And oh, you can put on something else, but don't cover it up. It's a good logo. I. There are parts of this project that I have. There's like a blank spot. Oh in my spot. god. Yeah, whenever Somewhere. I was coming in here, I told Katie, I was, should I pick up the controller and, <laughs> and should, I, should I play the first 10 minutes to even remember what we made? Yeah. And she was like, no, just just go and, and, yeah. and, and see. Experience it. Yeah. All right, I like the wasteland. Do you remember works. how much fun it was to like make up this world from scratch? Oh, oh my God. Totally. So good. Right, well, you can't see it anyway. Underneath. So Julian, uh, Leroy Vanilla, yeah. who yes. arguably you and I hired based on his nickname, the Leroy Vanilla, because yeah. you wanted to be yeah. called Hippopotamus... What was I can't that? remember. Hippopotamus something. I don't know. I don't remember. And then Vasily, like mm -hmm. his his artwork is pretty much the dominant. Ooh, got a good feature. skirt, right? Yeah, yeah. It's so good. And then I love Dust yeah. and yeah. those guys, ones, Mark yeah. Graham and yeah. Ollie Moss or Ollie Moss, Ollie Munden. We do love Ollie Moss, though. We do love Ollie Moss. I liked it when I Love Dust came in and, and mismatched sneakers. Stuff. I love yeah. it. Yeah. And the room, yeah. that the they green laces had all those all green laces art in it. Totally. Why is it so hard Good to times. change the color? There we go. There Perfect. We, go. we did something wrong. Body art. Don't oh, do I don't have any. Post it's great. Yeah. Don't yeah. say it out loud. They're watching. We're on film. We're on video. 
the yeah, world's yeah. watching. So everyone is watching. Right it's now. going great. Awesome! I can't wait to. I can't wait to see it. I'm, avo- yeah. I, I, I'm avoiding. I avoid all previews of everything, but I've, I've Look, heard that the previews are really good. Time has passed because there's no passed. more beer. Please stand yeah. up. Oh, we're out of squash berries and fizzy flakes. And toilet, toilet paper. paper. Um, it's been like hanging out. And that's a pretty good like like way of saying time had passed. Totally. Like, I mean, it worked. Totally. Oh god, that's some film grammar. I just love the idea that like the apocalypse happens. Like, well, how long can we last in the beer we've got? Yeah, yeah. Finish? Walter. Thank you, Walter. Walter. You know, my favorite Walter story. I don't remember. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember when we were casting? I think the player. And I read Walt. I read for Walter. I like. Oh, yes, that. I yeah. remember that. Oh, and the yeah, best part yeah. was Bobby had just started here. Yeah. So like Bobby didn't know who I was. So I was like sitting there, and I was actually like putting effort into being Walter and being gruff with the actors that were playing, giving them something to play off of and stuff. And so like Bobby for a long time thought I was an actor that was brought in or an in-house That's actor or something. Hilarious. He had no idea. He'd always see me in the hall, and he's like, "Who the hell is this guy? Yeah. Like, why is he still here? I thought he was just an actor, like that was <laughs> brought in, yeah. like read against." Why is he telling? Me, he's coming like, over and sorry. telling me that you know what, to, he needs something from me. To be fair for Bobby, I still think that too. Yeah, so is that not true? Is that not the yeah, case? Yeah, not, okay. I don't get to just read dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, and Larry Hedron, is that his name? Larry Heron? Heron, yeah. there we go, it, who did Floyd. It oh, was yeah. absolutely the best. I, w- I want him in everything from now on. He's yes. the best guy ever. Yes. His first set. Were you at his first session? I was not at his first session, but I heard the car breaking down. <laughs> yeah, so he came in for his first VO session, and he was about 10 minutes late. Um, and he comes in, and he's, he's sweating, he's out of breath. And he's like, okay, I'm ready to go. And we're like, is everything okay? He's like, yeah, yeah, totally fine. Let, let's go, let's go. We're like, okay, all right. We get through half of the session and we take a break. And he's like, I just got to make a call. I left my car in the freeway and ran here from the five <laughs> to get here on time. <laughs> on the five freeway, his yeah. car broke down. His car broke down and, and then he, he ran. ran. Yeah. He ran. At no. some point he was like, uh, I either leave my car and go to this job. Or stay with my car and don't have the job, and he just ran. Yeah, and yeah. he's the voice of Floyd. He's and that's why he is Floyd. Yeah. Wow. He's the best the Floyd. The best Floyd. Man, that All right, guy. I don't want to. You know, you it's good seeing you, bud. Yeah, it's good seeing you. I just wanted self. to say hi. I wanted to peek in and say hi. Hi, everybody. It's good seeing you. Uh, hi, bye. Bye. Send in the next contestant. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you uh, turn on subtitles? Oh, yeah, turn on subtitles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we don't have the audio on in here either, so you yeah, don't. Yeah, it's really kind of hard for us to see. Uh, subtitles are now on for all you folks at home who want to know what he's talking about. Uh, we just got this record player gun, the record high fidelity, player, yeah. which yeah. is really yeah. for a long time the game was no crazy weapons, and then this was like I feel like this is the like the that one was that the broke one the, the dam. Yeah. Well, this, this was, was certainly the one where oh, fault, right? well, this was Neil. <laughs> this was Neil Walker. You're right. That was Neil. Yeah, yeah. You're right. That was totally Neil. Because what we were saying was that seems a little Eric came up with the other weird things. Eric and B Math are kind of the weird ones. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I give him credit. Like when we were early on, we used to say it was the rock and roll apocalypse yeah. or rock and roll end times, and a lot of people met thought that we were making like brutal, brutal legends. Legend. Yeah. So to give Neil a lot of credit here, he wanted to do a vinyl gun, and we were like, I don't know, that sounds really on the nose. And then it was awesome. And it was awesome. Yeah. So here it is. And the audio team did a great job of their different samples, uh, like yeah, the different music, music samples, samples that yeah, they play. Yeah, that's pretty good. So when they actually shoot by the by the uh, camera, you'll hear them yeah, the Doppler little. by. It's pretty good. Oh, see, Walter was fine with my approach to uh, attacking. That's because you're badass. You don't need training. You know how to survive the rock and roll that time. Yeah. Well, I have survived them on many occasions. That's true. I felt like that happened a lot on the game. Was um, I mean, I people the, second the, guessing us? Well, I mean, the short way of saying it. The short way of saying it would be that we were wrong a lot, but I think we figured out that we were wrong a lot. Like, well, I think we we right? like we let. I think we supported being. I think wrong we a lot. let people be wrong a lot, and it turned out to be right a lot. It was awesome. I, I felt like the more we tried to control things, the worse it was, and the more we allowed people to bring their own totally. stuff. That because that's what like, this what is was, all about. It's all a mashup. And what was uh? What was the? Is it was it? Murica Land. Murica, the audio team Murica. did that. Yeah. Was it just Murica or Murica Land? It might or? be Murica Land. It's the amusement park the ride amusement where they park? did all the. Yeah, yeah I think and it was that totally Murica just came out of the audio department. That was right? all audio right. department. They yeah. were amazing. Yep. Yeah. Like Herschel, and Chris, Olander at the time, Jeremy. Wow. So the night defenses. Boy, this was. Uh... Right. So we should talk a little bit about this. When we originally pitched Sunset Overdrive, it was um, it was I Am Legend, not the movie, the book. The book. 
And so it was scavenge by day, defend by night. Right. So you could so go out during the daytime and be kind of safe. Yep, yep, And if yep. you went into buildings or stuff, we were like, okay, that's where the good stuff is, but it'll be dangerous totally. in there. And so a couple things happened. One was Fortnite was announced, which was a game that uh, had a lot of the same... Oh, here's Floyd. Initial ideas. Yeah, the initial ideas and, and, and inspiration. Which so is we're blowing talking about up, War. by the way. Well, yeah. You battle royale the hell out of that yeah. one. There he is. Floyd, the best character ever. Yeah. Absent-minded scientist. Yeehaw. Ah. Oh, look at him. Floyd and Walter are kind of the best couple of all time. Oh, let's see. Best couple. Uh, Jan Teodul, Azo GB, iHybrid L, Quit915, Insane 2K6, NASDAQ. Thank you all for the follows. If I missed your follows, sorry. There's a lot of you today. Yeah. Uh, By the way, I think Meat Market was playing in the background. We had a lot of really good, like, unknown garage rock bands. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, and, the uh, soundtrack in this game's killer. Well, and I hear a lot of people, like, they wanted something more like punk rock, uh, Tony Hawk kind of thing. But they, what they don't understand was how premeditated this was, but that we used to use a lot of the punk rock influence as well. Ooh. But A, Tony Hawk had already, like, well established the hardcore version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other thing was, beat wise, it didn't quite work for gameplay to be a little bit higher, like hardcore music. Like Garage Rock worked in that kind of yeah, had a, the, 140, the, the controllers media. had a different, different yeah, it kind of felt. Yeah. And then and then Garage Rock has a lot more of that. Like they don't take themselves as seriously. They sing about kind of yeah. dumb stuff, like Fiddler with cheap beer and all that. Um, so it worked out. But uh, inspirationally, we were Drew and I were very much into the uh, punk rock. Grew up on it, wanted it. Did I say a ran into that kind of punk like? Did you really? Yeah, in Sanitas, just at a, a restaurant. Oh yeah, you did mention that. That's yeah. right. That's so good. Sweet. Good dude. So I He's don't the really top price of uh, skateboarding. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know how I got all the weapons. Yeah. I don't, I don't really either, know but what. it's not a bad thing. I would just roll with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I, there's, that's like a weird, we started a fresh game, shouldn't have all the guns. Maybe if you go, go, maybe go start a fresh game, guys. Maybe you'll have all the guns. I'm gonna yeah. head out to the I, there's something weird with the way the safe game You know what, Internet? I dare you to go buy a copy of Sunset Overdrive, install it, and then see if you get all the guns. By myself? Hey, I know this when did the one more Sunset Overdrive shirts and hoodies? Oh, they, we had, had a bunch of Teespring. We had like all the, the like the designs, like of the fizzy flakes and everything. They were up on Teespring uh, nice. a while back. All the ones that we made with Josh Kerwin that were awesome and that fill up my entire oh, Kerwin. closet. Um, Kerwin's at Blizzard. Oh uh, yeah, Kerwin's at Blizzard now. Uh, a number of people. I feel like there's shout outs where like uh, Joe Maris is still at Microsoft, so kudos Joe. Joe. Uh, Eric Nyland is Amazon. Amazon. I think I think Leah is also Amazon. Isn't um, Louise? Also oh, Louise Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leah Leah's a arena net. I think. Yes, Something Leah's like an that. arena net. That's right. And uh, yeah, Man. Louise is the one who introduced us to uh, I Love Dust. So I will ever forever be. In she was. Dennis she was. She was one of the I think early people who who got on our side. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For sure. Thing. For sure, for sure. By the way, uh, yeah, I don't have any. Remember when we thought we might actually, so like if you could have anyone to art direct me, like old Jamie Hewitt. And she's uh -huh. like, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and it didn't yeah, happen, yeah. and we ended up, but we ended up with something great, but it was, I, I think that's when we were like, oh, oh it was wow. so, like, this yeah. Could be, this, yeah, could, yeah. this could be a thing. Could we get Jamie Hewitt to art direct? And then it was like or Jim just, Buffoon, or, who or, also or, did or Tank Or just, like, just, just go to drinks with us once. Yeah, that's really all we want. <laughs> we just want to tell a good story about it later. Uh, by the way, I still do not have any tattoos, but I have told Ollie Munden of I Love Dust that if he designs a tattoo for me, that will be my first Wow. Day. Yeah. Luckily, he's been so busy, it'll never happen. So I don't have to live up to that. Uh, oh, yeah, grinding on the on the train tracks. Yeah. You haven't met. I think the one big mistake that we made here, honestly, is the first I, I cannot group. wait to hear what, oh, the, no, no, one, no, the, one big what the one big mistake was. Yeah, no, I'm I, sorry. I can't wait I'm to sorry. hear. The first group we meet are the are the belligerent yuppies. The, um, whatever we end up calling them. Oh, the, in, the, in the arcade? Yes. In the arcade, yeah. And I feel like we should have had another group that was more capable first. Okay. Like the Far Guards. Or yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. Um, oh, these guys, remember? They oh, blow yeah, up. Yeah, totally. Uh, Floyd? These guys with big juicy hearts are coming at me. 
I love pop. the pop. Ah, oh, so good. So, so pretty. We, uh, it, it's probably okay to talk about, but maybe not, that we tried to get PepsiCo to make Overcharge. <laughs> like, like two years before we came out. We thought it would be really funny. We went up and flew up and talked to Pepsi, right? Flew up to talk to Pepsi, yeah, yep. Yeah. With Jen. Yeah. Did, did, did they own Overcharge already? They owned the name Overcharge. Oh, or was Inner Drive. Oh, right, Overdrive. Overdrive, Overdrive. Not Overcharge. The drink, Overcharge. The drink yeah, was yeah. called, uh, the drink was going to be called. Because we, uh, we were going to say, uh, we were going to have the drink be Overdrive. Right, right. But they already owned it oh. for a, oh. a drink. And then actually, in, in like Life Imitating Art, they announced a breakfast energy drink the weekend before we, drew, we flew up there. And I was like, you kind of out Sunset Overdrive yeah. this. It was pretty kickstart, kickstart or whatever. Kickstarter. I think I think there are definitely like people there that thought the idea was awesome. But then there's mm -hmm. also people there that were... It was basically all the young marketing people thought it was an amazing idea. Hey Especially because it was going to be like a... Let's, is let's try to sell a drink that has a video game that says it makes you... It turns you into a monster. monster. Yeah. 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 So I'm sure uh, that had some people the, the, shaking the, their heads a yeah, little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Scratching their heads. Yeah, they, they were... There were definitely people like, hey, we had enough problems from Congress without making a video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wall running. Oh, my God. That's good. It's almost like I, I played this game a little bit. All right, Floyd, here's your parts. Do you think Mike's still watching? Awesome like your bar is still up. I don't know. Do you remember that E3 when we went up to this hotel room to pitch, like where we were going with something? Yes. That was, yes, that was really nice. awkward and fun. It was intense. It was really intense. <laughs> it was intense. I remember. Um, but it was good. I, again, those guys were supportive. They were. That's they, were like. they were some really, really supportive people yeah. there. Phil Spencer um, has always been real good. Ken uh, Lobb was like dude, such a massive, Ken massive Lobb. champion. So amazing to work uh, with. Yeah, um, this is good. I had a lot of, of, of good ideas. Of Noah, Noah in the biz dev department. Yep. He's a good guy. Oh. There we go, all right. Uh, now you're collecting stuff. This is where we introduce collectibles. Yes, we did. Okay. Fizzy collectibles. And probably at this point in the game, Marcus, you would quit playing and go collect all 500 collectibles yes. or whatever they're This on. is how I play games. This is why I was talking about Far Cry 5 and how I, I ultimately have stopped playing it. Because I wanted to just want to grind. And they forced me into missions. You can't, you can't, you just, you can't just go shoot stuff up. I just want to destroy everything. Got my rewards for that. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Floyd. Amps. Wow. Floyd. Yeah, yep. we were trying to. <laughs> so I just forgot, game, I just totally forgot to... about amps. Uh, oh, man. This tutorial had a bug in it that was like pre orders or something that was like. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah there was something weird about it. And I'm actually really nervous because I have all that stuff unlocked. Oh, did you just cry? No. no. Oh, no. It's just a. I heard. I I, quit, I, I, quit breathing. I, yeah, that was a hard problem. Yeah. Yeah. So Eric Meyer is now at um, uh, Justin Rowland's company. Yes, I can't remember what it's called. But it's yeah. called Nin Squat Squatch Tendo. Squatch Tendo. Okay. Um, he's a good one. Joel Joel Goodsell who had a lot to do with the open world stuff. He's out here. Yeah. He's still here. He's doing great work. Uh, I don't remember everybody else involved. This is the night defense thing. It's coming I mean, up. this is basically the setup. Yeah. Oh hey, what do they do with Sunset TV in this? What well, there's I think there's a final episode that like that is like a, that's a um, kind of a perpetual episode. Well, isn't there a screen on this side to the right that wall up there? Uh, maybe. I'm getting tutorialized. Oh, you're the, tutorializing uh, about the style meter. I don't see it anyway. Um, oh, you know what? I I wanted one, and it was a bug that was waved. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Heartbreaker. Yeah. Heartbreaker. I think um, we will find one pretty quickly. Yeah. Um. And then you had to build up your style meter, and now, oh, okay, style now meter. go on the ground. Remember Lisa Brown had a game day thing where she did style meter, like the first incarnation of style meter, where you were getting points by doing just some different yes. universal stuff? Yes. That was amazing. We did some really messed up prototypes to figure this out. Yeah. You remember like where we had, where you did tricks that would make a bubble appear? <laughs> and like you could do <laughs> more awesome things within the bubble, just and the then bubble. it was like, and then I think the bubble traveled with you yeah. for a while. <laughs> As and bubbles do. Look at how many enemies yeah, yeah, we were so trying many. to figure out like what, how we would define style. Yeah. And I'm sure that there's some crazy formula that I don't even remember. Yeah. 
Um, well, it's, it's like I kill these guys, and then you have weapon. The different amps you have turn on. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Style. So yeah. when I was rolling, I had that energy boss because it was at style level one. And then when you start hitting style level two, then your weapon amp turns on. And in this case, it's a like it makes the discs electrical and stun enemies. Yeah. Um, well, I, and if we're really going back far, let's give Steve Ryder props because he's the one who made that video that was like a tone piece, and it was he was the first one to sort of tie together traversal yeah. and. And shooting, yeah. and I remember him asking, like, sh I, "We can't do this in the game. Should I do it?" Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, of course you should. It's awesome." And then that became the teaser trailer, for all mm -hmm. intents and purposes. Yeah. And uh, plus, you t you went to him with all the respawn animation ideas, and then he came back with glorious gold, glorious, glorious stuff with that. So between you know, Steve Ryder did a lot of great stuff. Steve Ryder did a lot of great stuff, as he is wont to do. Always. Okay. But if you're a recruiter, Man, this is really out there, bumming you know. me out. I, I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but yeah. I guess it's just a lot of talking. It's a lot of tutorials. We had to explain that. A lot of tutorials. Well, because remember, we did a lot of usability testing where people were know, like, "We, we want to cover." No, I know we did. I know we did. Shooters. Shooters. I just. Uh, or or they just try to walk on the ground. Yeah. And shoot stuff. That yeah, was I the do big one. That. Like, oh man, people just stay on the ground. Hi, Floyd. Someone asked, when is the Xbox One X patch coming? They're, oh, yeah, we aren't we are patching this game. It's very in the past and, and contained, and we don't have hardware to patch it to or people to do it. Everyone here is focused on finishing Spider-Man. So, right. not going to happen. Sorry. Thanks, Kamikaze Phil. Somebody loves, he loves this game. Oh, you know what? Kamikaze Phil and I went to elementary school together. Really? Yeah, Mrs. Uh, Miller, our third grade teacher. We had a good time. We, uh, we used to go to detention a lot together. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Kind of because you feel it. Yeah, for sure. That's Phil Spencer, by the way. Is it? I wish. Yeah. Uh, I somehow feel like you have a better Twitch name. Yeah. But. Oh, so do you have it unlocked where if you go from underground to overground and jump, you can pop off? Should Because uh, that was a good move. I think yet. everything is unlocked at the beginning except for Air Dash. Yeah, that was... Right. Oh, the Air Dash. The Air Dash uh, debacle of 2016. Ooh. I can't even... I, I, think, I think we ended up doing something that made no one happy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was introduced earlier than a lot of people were comfortable with. Well, but a lot of people wanted it even earlier. Some people wanted it right away. Yeah. Some people wanted it, like, almost in-game or, yeah. like, three-quarters of the I mean, it is a game-changer. Such a game-changer. Yeah. Such a game-changer. This stuff... We had an early demo where a lot of the stuff came out of, like for the first night defense. Remember there was that whole other area where there was a school bus that would become a monster and we'd fight the monster. Oh, wow. That was like demo number two or something. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Demo monster. number one was more I think like that was. I think that was more like, I think that was at a point when we were hearing this isn't enough. Yeah. We need yeah, so night defenses were going to culminate in a boss battle yeah. as well. Yeah. But I still like when the original pitch, we talk about it often, but when we went up to Microsoft to pitch to like nine layers of, of bosses. There's so many people. There were a lot the, of bosses. Uh, bosses. And we, we talked about the game, the attitude, the everything, and then it got to your point where you talked about the gameplay and you talked about how we dressed. You and I were yeah, dressing yeah, yeah. together when we were playing night defense. And then at the end of the night, That's you're game. standing on the chair yeah. and you're just shooting and this great. And then the sun comes up and finally, and it was like, that's how you pitch a game. Yeah. yeah. I still talk about Drew standing on the chair as like, that's how you pitch Drew a game. We were really jazzed about this game. We were pretty like, excited. We were really, about this game. really excited about Because we talked about making this game. Yeah. And then we weren't going to make this game. Right. And then we were going to make it again. We've talked about that, right? Oh, like yeah. in public? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we were going to make Sunset Overdrive and then. Uh, we found out about Fortnite. Yeah. And decided not to. Make decided it. not to because it was a lot of the same thing. We thought Microsoft was still working. And we've been on that work, we, we, we had we worked for three months on it or so. Yeah. yeah we so were, well, that was the just thing. Like a team of what, so 50 the internet. Or something? We, but remember, we instead of pitching Sunset Overdrive to Microsoft, we pitched a different game. And yeah. then We worked on that game for three months, and we and it was. And that awesome. game was sort of. Well, I don't know how much we could... Wait, yeah. what? It kind of became the unspoken. It became the unspoken. I had more ideas. It, it was like, like we were kind of going back to that wizard. Thematically. Yeah, thematically we were into that wizard. We had always had that idea of wizards yeah. in New York. Yeah. Totally. Or, which was kind modern. of... Modern. It became modern magic. Ma modern magic in the modern world. That's right. Like, they have, like, yeah, that, that, that idea had a number of ma like manifestations, even if they were just conversations, right? Totally, For totally. a month or so. so. So, again, giving credit where credit is due, at some point, like in three months later... 
Ted recognized that you and I were not putting our hearts into it in the way that we had cared about Sunset. And we went back to Microsoft and said, hey, remember that game we pitched? Just kidding. Remember remember how we told you that we changed ideas at the last minute and we're pitching? Well, that, that idea we changed, can we go back and, like, yeah. and, and revisit that? Yeah. yeah. So again, to their credit, they were like, we want to make the game that you are passionate about. And and yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Mike, I forgot. Mike, your bar, yeah. Mike, your bar. Mike, your bar. Was like, well, why? Why aren't you guys making it? Totally. You know, like, totally. So, what, at least, so what if it's making Fortnite? Like, yeah. why aren't you guys doing what you want to yeah, do? Exactly. And uh, total props to that guy. Yep. So kudos all around. Um, and oh, we had no. we had a lot of fun doing this. Get out of my overcharge balance. I mean, we lost a lot of sleep because we were so neurotic about everything. Yeah, are you still as neurotic as you used to be? No. Not quite. I'm, uh, I'm managing that through various means. <laughs> Mostly stage huge. That's right. Mitch is stage huge. Uh, I did it love. I forgot regular. that the Herkers had like the little OD jump on them, and then they throw them. Yeah, they throw them. Yeah, yeah. 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 The barricades and stuff. Uh, so like, that must have been an Adam Newchester. Oh, right? the throwing. The throwing? Yeah, that? I can't. You know, I can't remember. Somebody pitched the idea that if somebody was doing a job, they could get merged into the job. So the idea of the Herker was the first one, where it was somebody who worked on a on a like a forklift or a, a scoop. Like heavy machinery would be merged with this thing. Yeah. The throwing by Adam had to be Adam. Like I feel like Adam and Joel work together to do a lot of that sort of stuff. Yeah. How is this gonna work out? Um, I know I want to give everybody credit. It was such a team effort here. Uh, just a lot of good vibes and buzz and people. Like oh, totally, totally. Uh, Jacinda for putting up with a lot of oh our. Oh my god. Our and also, I think. I think she was the first person at Insomnia to totally be... To get it. To, yes, yeah. to mind meld with us. So. I remember. And I think both of us were like trying to describe you. Oh, but I, uh, and Jacinda's like, no, I got it. I understand. And totally. she'd get up and, and talk to everybody. And totally. They'd be like, we still don't 100% get it, but we trust Jacinda. No, totally. <laughs> it's, like so, it's like trying to figure out what somebody wants by emptying out a woman's purse and being like, um, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got like you. That. I read the tea yeah, leaves. Yeah, I know what exactly. you want. Yeah, that was that was good times. And then Bobby Coddington when he came in as animator, what happened? What did you do? That was weird. That was did weird. you just crash? Do you own oh. this? I got signed out. Oh my god. You know what? I think Mike Kibara got tired of watching us. Can I just, just make more DLC for Sunset Overdrive? Apparently not, because there's a, a save game issue. I mean, James can't even get no, out of the game I, uh, with him. I think I got signed out. Hang on. You had an empty camp yeah. slot. How many years did Sunset Overdrive t take to make? We worked on it uh, from from. Pre-production, like actually people working on it to yeah. ship was three years. About three years. And later. you and I had been talking about it or for other ideas for a year, year and a half. Yeah, because we, we were working on Resistance Three, so we didn't dedicate a ton of time, but it was yeah. certainly a conversation piece. It had changed a lot. Like it by the time we actually lot. pitched to Ted, uh, we had already shifted to making it weird and punk rock. Right, more bright colored. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, not, not a, z a daisy. -like. Right. Uh, vibe. Yeah, it was kind of like, hey, if we're gonna work on a game, we should make it. We should make a game that has everything we like. What although, do you yeah, like? Although, it, it was one of those things too, where we were. I think we were figuring that out along the way. Because I remember even when we first started prototyping, we weren't gonna do jumping and bouncing and no. stuff like no that. Crazy it was like, it was, no crazy weapons. It's gonna feel more grounded. Yeah. Uh, we but really quickly it became okay. Well, somebody did the headshot. Yes. Yeah, people yeah, started grinding. That, the headshot. Yeah. It was a headshot. And the then head put a, I can't remember who it was, convinced me that we could have a mattress instead of a, a ladder in one place. Well, that was the thing. Is I remember when we did the Burbank gas station. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, there yeah, was the a ladder, station, yeah. and we were talking about like what's fun and not fun. And we just went, man, ladders, ladders are not are fun. Just a drag. It's not fun. So Cameron did the exercise trampoline, and that was the first way to get up quickly. And that was kind of like, all right, woo! yeah. Yeah. So as soon as we start adding more traversal elements, but that, had this, that ladders aren't fun was a great decision. We would have those game jams where we'd let everyone spend like a few days working on whatever they wanted to oh, work. Oh, Josue. And Josue Jose with that damn skateboard, Dude. and we were like, no skateboards. Yeah. But no he, skateboards, and he made like, what, what, it wasn't a skateboard. He, he like, did a skateboard. He did like a, a skateboard. It was, like a, it was like a snowboard that worked on I mean, it was a skateboard, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there he did no that. Physics. But what I was the thinking is, what he did was just when we had made this, we had made like a whole section of, of a downtown area, and it was that it just looks like Burbank. It's just boring. And he had done that day, day oh, oh. the jam where it was like surprise the player, 
Because he'd been playing a lot of Skyrim and he loved the exploration. It was. And so he built a world generic. that was a lot of, like crazy, and that defined the way that we made our worlds. Yeah. So a lot of really good things came out of game jams. Hose it was way, like Lisa. it was like his way. It's almost like he took like downtown Burbank and was like, if if this would have if this people. if this city was an avatar, what would it look like? Because all of a sudden there's like these floating <laughs> things with like waterfalls coming down, totally. like eight stories into this into Absolutely. this mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, it didn't make and honestly, you look any at any sense. And you I look at the city and it's like it makes sense, but there's a lot of like undulation and yeah. weird angles and all these things that kind of work in a weird. It actually ends up making it feel really organic and like it yeah. was built up naturally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And these like these under dark areas yeah, with the yeah, yeah. you know below the freeway and Yep. And you um, find weird stuff in these unexpected places. And, uh, what's going to happen now? so uh, Riot Squad servers are down, right? Oh no, 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 you can still play. Okay, it's you're really it's very difficult to find a uh, a uh, game. Yeah, that's the that's the Because after this part of the mission is where you go and we introduce Riot Squad in Campaign, like you can go to the phone booth. Do you remember that? You can yeah, go to the phone yeah. booth to access. Uh, Marcus says you don't have a role in Spider Man, right? Uh, not, not. I mean, well, you actually do. You do. We don't really talk about yeah. it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am. I am. James, can you do on. your best Walmart yodel kid impression? Yodel, do, 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 do. No, sorry, it's Price is Right yodel. Oh. Uh, what was your job role in making Sunset? Job role. Oh, you're uh, creative we, director, we, game director. Game director, yeah. We, yeah. I mean, we basically, Drew and I were just like, uh, we kept each other sane, I think was the job, the biggest job. Yeah. Oh, so I, the fact that we have different job titles, we both cared about everything, but somebody had to be the final word. Yeah. So Drew was the final word on anything design, game, gameplay. And I was the final word on um, what we were drinking that night. Which is relatively a frequent occurrence, so you know. Um, uh, I have the epic camp going where it's causing explosions to come out every time I bounce on something. Seven. Six. Yeah, you're fully upgraded. What happened? I don't really know. I think there's like some DLC ones maybe from like oh, that. That's, like that's maybe right, because the... we played the DLC. So I think yeah. all that stuff carried over, yeah, though the, all the initial stuff is gone. I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, all right. So, what if you could if you could do it all over? Not to, I, mean, I guess to, to, to yeah, yeah, yeah. To continue down the self-critical route, okay. if you could change one or two things, like looking back at it now, what would you change? <sighs> ah, maybe not as much. Oh God, I don't know. I was gonna say like night de night defense became a, a sort of a sideline, but I think we yeah. held on to night defense a lot longer than we probably should. I think we were. I think I was more emotionally attached to it than I. I think I was blinded a little bit oh. by my emotional attachment to it. This is one thing I did have something to do with, which is at Cal Arts where I went. The animators always do the A uh, one thirteen. Uh, like Pixar does it, see, A113. Oh, okay. That was a, a classroom in CalArts uh, um, character animation. But I wanted to feel like I belonged to my alma mater, so I did that. The, the license yeah, plate? Yeah, the license plate. Nice. Even though I'm not in animation. But Guthrie, uh, who in our character department, worked there as well. So there's two CalArts alumni, and A113, that's where it comes from. Uh, my, my good friend at uh, uh, Nickelodeon, who works on Teenage Mutant Ninja Oh, yeah, yeah. The guy that he's co-showrunner with. Yeah. Was Guthrie's roommate in college? <laughs> That's hysterical. That's real. Was up there a couple weeks ago. Uh, what would you change? Spinning it back on you. Whew. Um. Just in, in time. time. Um. Except the oh oh. Oh. This is so good. Poor Walter White. I wish we could have paid for all of so, the Melvins and not just Buzz Osborne. So good. Because uh, Dale Clover would have been awesome to be on. Um, the, 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 the Buzz O stuff is great. Buzz I is think, great. uh... I don't know. I think at some point... I think uh, I think at some point if you play enough, I think that at some point if you play enough, the 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 combat gets a little flat. Like I wish that we had had something that something had something with the, the, the and it's hard because it is it's like a very arcadey game, right? Totally, totally. And so it's hard to get like um, 
I mean, you're obviously not going to end up with some sort of like bloodborne like no. strategy, you know. But I, sure, I don't know. I played sure. like I played like a a lot of Diablo uh, three. Loose, loose and, like, I don't know. I just I wish that we had had some way of of not stats progression, but just some way of of making it more difficult for the player, or yeah, giving yeah, yeah. giving more of a challenge to the player. Uh, at the end of, of yeah. you know the, the fifteen or twenty hours that you you might play yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the regular game, but okay, it's uh maybe those are chaos squad shit I earned. Maybe that's what you did. Was. You just earned some chaos squad. No, no, I'm saying like that's oh, the stuff that the I. Oh, in the save game. Yeah, that's okay. that's what I think I may have. Uh, uh, that may be what I. Uh, uh, why I have weapons and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff playing chaos squad and that did, didn't go away. Did we enjoy? Uh, the one change I would make is to add Faster. Jello Biafra. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Thank well, you. Thank you. Talk about it, but yes, that would have been a great one. Uh, did we enjoy making Jack and Daxter? That was the easiest game I've ever, the, ever you know worked on. Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah. totally. Uh, I, love, I love how you wake up hungover out of a porter body when you fast travel. Yeah. That was That's easy. Classic. Also, I should I should die some because of the respawn animation. Yeah, the respawn animation. Yeah, you should die. I should the die. combat was great when you make the player traverse during also combat, the game. the game shines. Yeah. That's what we did, right? We shined. We did Tony Hawk-ish jet grind radio stuff with totally. a bunch of crazy weapons, and we had some yeah. good. We had some good enemies, you know. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever feel like I remember? We always got the jet grind comparisons. Worry, I, I love that game. Sure. But it was always like I felt like it was sort of like the blessing and the curse of jet grind. Like you will be a cult favorite. I mean, like, oh yes. No. Here's what I would say. I love jet grind radio right up until the time when I went back and played it. Mm. It's not as good as I thought it was. Yeah. And, and I know the internet will explode and everything, but it was awesome at the time. It does not hold up well. I think it's like playing Parappa the Rappa. Totally. Which at the time was like, at this is such amazing. amazing. And if you go back now, it's yep. so, the input windows are so wrong. They're super wrong. And yeah, wonky. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. it's un and that's the thing. unbelievably difficult. Yeah. And that's the thing is games as a whole, yeah, as an entertainment, they oh. just have a short shelf life and I would like that to change. And I hope that what we were doing here was taking some of those ideas and bringing them to a more modern gameplay. Okay, die. die yeah, I'm dying intentionally. Ooh, I thought yeah. the real voice acting was amazing. Yep. Yep. Stephanie something. Absolutely. Stephanie Lemlin, right? Yeah. Is it Lemlin? Uh, right. Let's, let's die yes. one more time. All these guys, they should kill me. Pretty also, pretty the pretty leader of the Las Katrinas, I love. We're getting a lot more Jack and Daxter. Insomniac doesn't make Jack and Daxter. Jack and Daxter, Jack and Daxter. Neither did we, yeah. but, uh, no, not but even. they're good games. They're right? We've been, we've been the, uh, we've been uh, Dracula and now the Mummy. It's all these Universal monster reviews thus far. <laughs> no, it's well, not. That's right, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, no, that's actually where the idea, the, the first one that I went to was Dr. Steve Ryder. I was like, yep. I wanted a Dracula one. Yep. Um, I got great. the idea from oh, watching. I get, totally got the idea from watching, uh, working on Sunset Overdrive at home one night and watching uh, the the collection of the gorillas videos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's uh, it, um, I can't remember which. It's uh, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. But yeah, they yeah, come yeah. up out of the ground. Of and the I was ground. like, oh, that'd be yeah. cool if somebody. Totally. Like the character came out of the ground like Murdoch. Totally. Uh, that was oh. the thing that I missed, and I think people here Beaten miss in. miss that a lot. Is a lot of times we just want to admit that it's a game trope that we're yeah. doing, and you just can't. I thought it was a lot of, like, just the idea of, I grew up playing video games, yes. my mom thought it was the ring. My mom thought it no, was... No, it's not. Oh, I mean, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> um, you know, just the idea that, like, one more. you get the fantasy of end times where playing video games helped you was a great idea that I thought we could have pushed a lot. Yeah. You know. We were still trying to figure it out. That's my biggest thing is I wish that we had done a sequel because we could have addressed a lot of our... We could have well, you pushed know, aside I, all the things that we did figure totally, out. I totally. feel like every... There's something like that about every game, right? When mm -hmm. you... You know, the first game you're making, it's like you're you're paving the runway while trying to land the plane. Totally. And, uh, and that's... And so, like, a lot of times you look at, even look at, look, look back at some of the great games in the last generation where it's like Uncharted 2, you know, yeah. such huge step oh. up from Uncharted 1. And, and Assassin's Creed 2 is such a huge yeah, step yeah, up yeah. from the first Assassin's Creed where it's like, you're just kind of figuring it all out and then you're rushing to yeah, ship yeah. something. Totally. And then it's like, okay, now we know what we know. We know what we're actually doing by the end. I think even if you play the DLC for this game, 
um, like the DLC mission. It's just we, it's strong. We, oh yeah, it's like yeah. oh like yeah, you, it, they all take advantage of the air dash and everything we learned about everything. Yeah. Um, at that point, which I think was a Corey, great... did you just recommend Gorilla Games for making the 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 Jack Gorillas Jackson. game instead of us? Yeah, because they're called Gorilla. Oh, so Jesus, Corey. Jesus, dude. You know. That was lame. Lowest <laughs> lo- 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 <laughs> common denominator, yeah, so it would be Corey. awesome to make uh, the Gorillas game, or Tank Girl game would actually be even more oh, fun. Oh, yeah. I just, right? I do love that Drew still referred to us as us, though. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean. He's family, man. I know. There's Codes, no, that's, I just loved it. Ten, it ten, ten years here. I like yeah. I said, I'm just not like I'm doing anything else. I'm just taking like a, I'm on like summer, summer, a really long summer break, vacation. Oh, criminy. Follow the mysterious stranger. You know, I don't talk to anybody anymore, right? Like, you took off and I just put my headphones on. Is that right? Yeah, yeah it is true. You see him walking around with headphones. He does take them out for me, though, which I feel Now, who did, who, who, who did this? I remember somebody was... This section? Was it Neil? I feel like Neil was being driven insane by... by the timing of it all? With yes. the doors opening and stuff? I think we had to do all these, like... like he goes around the corner and yeah, we have yeah, to yeah. like oh, totally, we have to totally. like jump him yeah, so far him, ahead so that, yeah warp him and I just yeah, yeah. it was one of those QA I remember designer totally. like head butting against the wall this caused 150 bugs well I remember kind of Neil in particular had the tower one where you went way up on the tower and it was the parents who had yeah. all the money up there and like how much money rained down and everything I remember Neil banging his head on that one um I forget who did this one. It might be. It may be. Um, we had a lot of really good, crazy designers back then. So good on them. Like, remember Liz England was here? Yeah. She's up at Ubi now. Good times. Oh, blowers. Intro. Is it blowers? Uh, yeah, I was right. Yeah, yeah, right. I, have the leaf I was like saying, like, they couldn't have been named blowers. I mean, let's admit that people who use leaf blowers are basically the enemy of all mankind. Yeah, especially because they always. I would, love to, I would love a tank girl game, but I feel like it would have to be small to make a profit. Yeah, I think out of the 1,200 people who would buy it, that. <laughs> but for those Maybe 1,200 people. Though. Yeah, I don't know. I like that we're. The fact that we're playing Sunset Overdrive and somebody is accusing some other IP of being niche. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that. well, you know, a lot of people have played this game because it's been, you know, if you have Xbox Game Pass, you can download this game for free right now yeah, yeah, yeah. and play it as part of your Xbox Game Pass. And then we gave it away for gold members at yeah, least yeah. once, maybe twice. I don't even know. There's like, there's, I, I get it confused because there's free trials of it and other stuff. Oh so there's a lot of people that have played this game. What other more enemies, than you might think. What other enemies do we have? I'm trying to remember. Perker, Which Blower, there's inter- the robots. Do we introduce one in the park? Uh, with the dog? Oh. Yeah. Is that when they... they do just, introduce one in the park? Have they started, the is that when they started getting up on the wires, maybe? Or yeah, maybe. There, yeah, we have, well, yeah, because common uh, OD would start to get in the wire. Oh, wires. Oh, right, because even the spiker is a... They, they, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Spikers. Are they spikers? Is that the name? No, but no, I like it though. The, the ones that they put ice ice stuff on things. Oh right? yeah, 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 the freeze guys. Yeah, freeze yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, right? They're yeah. not called spikers. No, I don't uh, know what they're. See that bug? That guy jumping down just like freak the fuck out. Can I swear? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember when those guys used to put the shards on everything. We had to turn yeah. the way back. Yeah. Yes. God, that was a really fun time. That's a, I mean, that's just game mode. Right? You get the bug one day, and it's like. They all freeze everything as much as yeah, they can. Yeah. You literally you couldn't do anything. Oh, you, you could, though. It was well, fun. It just brutally difficult. Oh my God. See, maybe we should have, the end game, we should have just flipped that. Oh, yeah, there's a, okay, so the, which of the guys that are shooting, is that the blowers that shoot the Oh, ah, the climbing down the walls. Right. So good. The intros are good. So good. I remember there was one time when, uh, so, uh, again, Pyramine, uh, they were trying to find kind of garage rock bands, and this guy, Dan Sartain, I love. He's got great music, great garage rock. And he came back with a track that he wrote called "We're Gonna Have a Party, Fuck You." <laughs> and I was like, "All right, well that's perfect." There's there like you go. Andrew WK just made this game. We're just going in, circles. in fact, didn't Andrew WK like tweet us at one point? That sounds right. Said, yeah. Somebody had said something like, "It seems like Andrew WK should have been in this game," and and he actually reached out to us. That would have been amazing. Sequel. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? Jello Biafra and Andrew. There's Biafra. somebody out here still in there. Yeah, I, I, there must be because they haven't busted like through the gate yet. They will eventually, but you might have somebody who's stuck. So, right. where's Sam? I'm, I'm looking. Sam, I'm looking. Dude with him. 
Yeah. Oh, no, it's just check Sam from there. Oh, you have to oh, talk uh, to Sam, and then they bust her. Oh, I wasted a lot of ammo. Uh, that was, you know, I would have done that. Didn't I? Thanks. <laughs> Man, I lost my height. I lost my epic amp. That's right. I keep trying to air dash, and it's like, uh, oh. I keep trying to chain with the air dash, and it makes me sad every time I press right bumper in the air, and it doesn't work. My dream game, a ratchet game, good gameplay of Vanquish. We look at Vanquish some. I uh, we did look at Vanquish. Really, really, I really Vanquish. watched that game, actually. Yeah. Really underrated. I mean, that was part of it. Like, when we first, when you and I were first talking about Sunset Overdrive, it was much more dour and grounded. And I remember having that conversation where you were like, do you think this team could make this game? And it was like, yeah, probably not. I think it's also, both of us, both of us had, we were tired of it. Both of us had kids. We had kids. But that was the thing, is Re Resistance 3 was like, so we're about to have kids. Dour, Terrified and dark. So and, yeah. So we were done with it. We just wanted to make something bright and shiny and happy. Fun. I think we were. Hope, we're I think we were hoping if it if it looked fun, it would yes. be easier and more fun to make. Maybe <laughs> right. It's like if it looks fun. Didn't that work? Well, it it, it, it actually did some because I, I did I did feel like whenever I pulled it up and would play, it's like oh yeah, this is really fascinating and beautiful. It's a yeah, gorgeous yeah. world. And oh, it yeah, actually yeah. was really fun, totally. like running around in this instead of oh, like yeah. in instead some of dark apocalypse. sepia tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Because um, we had, I think I'd had one, two, three, four, five years of resistance, and you must have had. I mean, I was only here a couple of years before you. Six year and a half years. Yeah. Well, I had yeah. that. I took that one year out for uh, Ratchet, but. Oh, that's um, right. One tools of destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was a long ass time ago. It's nice being the old man of the industry, huh? It's nice just being an old man, I guess. <sighs> yeah, it's surprising to me. It's actually super surprising. That it's nice to be being old? It's just that I am still here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, could anyone give me a fair, reasonable description of what constitutes the punk music genre? Because I can never nope. recognize it when I hear it. That sounds exactly Wait, that like... Oh, that, that review that we got that was like, since it already fails because it's not punk. And we're like, we never said we were punk. Yeah. Also, fuck you. Yeah. It's really hard to, <laughs> I would say it's pretty hard to describe yeah. the genre. I'm not no, no, no. This, but I think we were, we were was more... That, 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 yeah, that was a... Well, I think we were talking, too, about, like, the fuck you heroes and how uh, Glennie Friedman has yeah. that book where it's, like, hardcore punk rockers, but also, like, skateboarding and hip-hop hip and yeah. anything that was, like, counterculture and just not, like... Yeah. You know, not necessarily anti-consumer, but that was our take here. Was this was a world that was built by advertisers? Choo -choo! And I don't think you actually have to shoot anyone during the sequence. No, I think you, you just ride in it, just, yeah. and then we just like put guys for you to smash. Spectacles. Labeling punk isn't punk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, Good being point. punk is the most punk thing you can do. Yeah, but there, this is not a punk rock game. This is a. I mean, you listen to their bands; they're garage rock. They're like happy fun times. Bye bye, bitches. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part. <laughs> Squishing a herker. Hey, grab that toilet paper. So Thank going. you. Yeah, toilet paper. I Can't have enough of that. I always ignore the internet. I, I know, only know the Ramones from their end credit song, Pet Cemetery. Uh, Want to be sedated, right? I think that's right. Great song. It is a great Get song. Down the yeah, somebody. I went somewhere and it was all the, like, the greatest, exactly. the, great, the Ramones' greatest hits, and all I could think was like, "There's some really good Ramones songs, but you never hear them because you always hear I want to be sedated.' Let's go, Bob. Let's go, Bob. Like all those. Yeah, like 53rd and 3rd, I think is my favorite song by them, and it's just yeah, yeah. yeah. But same. With, there's I mean, a lot of hits. Whatever. There's yeah. a lot of hits. Gotta go. But again, the, we weren't we weren't trying to be the Tony Hawk theme song. Soundtrack. We had Bronx. I actually rode on a plane one time from uh, Idaho, Sun Valley, Idaho, and I saw there was a band on the flight, but I didn't pay attention to who they were. And we were on this tiny little plane. We get to LAX and I realize it was the Bronx. Wow. And they just finished the work on Sunset. I could have had something to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Terrible. I messed it up, man. I really messed it up. I could have planned that a lot better. Spider Man's not coming to PC, people. Okay, nice just FYI. Nice try. I, I, I've been, I've spent a very long time in the last couple of weeks trying to explain the word exclusive to people. <laughs> uh, the Oxfords, Oxford. that's what it was. Yeah. Oxford. The I totally kept thinking of the Cambridge. Look at that, little preps. The again, Steve Ryder, I think, animated the uh, the band, the, the 
the back there. Text van. Oh, the, oh, the, the, the Chuck E. Cheese Chuck E. Cheese band. Did you see Chuck someone Cheese, was but... selling one of those bands? Oh, right. Some oh. Like Craigslist, like you get the whole setup. For There's a guy who bought the band from um, uh, Party Time Pizza, it's something pizza, whatever, uh -huh. and then he would program like Usher songs, and, mm. and, and it's amazing. He did amazing work. I can just imagine, like, if you had, like, you were wealthy enough, you had, like, a backyard, and you had, like, a little, you could build, like, an outdoor amphitheater for them with curtains oh, yeah. and stuff, and they have a party, and then the curtains just open, it's the fucking Chuck E. Cheese band. It's like, yeah! This party's lit! Yeah, yeah. Let's do it! Oh, that was one of the funny things. When, when, oh, Microsoft, when Microsoft Marketing first talked to us about what we wanted to do, and, like, the uh, Cortana, Costa Cortana, whatever that Italian cruise ship had crashed, uh -huh. and it was like news everywhere. And I said, "That's what I want to do. I want us to crash a, a cruise ship." Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. My By the way, let's See, appreciate actually, the uh, rug, the carpet of this. Oh thing. yeah, man, it is so, good. so perfect. <laughs> it is perfect. I, I bet that's probably what sounded the dragon's tail down this street, oh, for right? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. It just covers kids' vomit pretty easily. Hello, Callista. Uh, oh yeah, good old list. Couldn't buy anything good. Actually, I don't want to waste too much time. I would have, you know, what if we did this over, I would have had Tim Gunn do the voice of that. Tim Make Gunn. it work. Yeah. Make it work. All right, I don't care that much about this right now. I don't want to customize. Spend too much more time customizing. Let's go check this out. Oh, I, I the only thing is you can't jump look inside, which is just. Like, I know, it's so sad. But look at them go. I love the unicorn. <laughs> the unicorn's, the unicorn's the best. amazing. Yeah, I like, mean, that how about like this monster? Anyone? Yeah. Sasquatch. These are all. It was the. That was the thing. It was. It's when you say something dumb out loud, and then somebody makes it, and it's amazing. Yeah. The idea of a mythical creatures pizzeria. Sounds that was. Awesome friends. That was some stupid idea that came up in some meeting somewhere. Too good. Look at him playing the drum. I, I always get the big overbite. Yeah. I, my only wish I would love to see one of the under classic like Spyro underbite. Let's see. Let's see. Too good. We have games in here. What is this? Oh, this is. A That's a quest. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Draft in. Crocky. Yeah, see, in the sequel, we would have made these playable. Yeah, I really, oh my god, I really wanted some of those playable. Of course. And then you got the playpen yeah. area, and... Pick up a smartphone. Oh, it's a collectible, if you want to get the smartphone. I should actually block that. I think that was, I think that was part of, that was, that was the point of the game when part of me died, when it was like, okay, we're not going to be able to make, like, a couple of the arcade games playable. I know. Like, but that's this. the thing is, you got to remember, at some point, they just flat out kick us off the game. Yeah. Like, no, I they, to they told Drew and I we can't I didn't say it was a bad anymore. decision. No, totally. <laughs> just I just want the internet really to understand how it. bad it is. You're like, okay, lifeblood. This is our thing. We finally got a chance. We're yeah. doing our thing, yeah. whatever. And then at some point, they're like, yeah, we have to make this game so you, you can't only. work on it anymore. <laughs> I love this. The Bora water. You can't afford it. Poor Bora water. You I can't mean, afford it. It's the best water there is. I actually went to Fiji over the break, and yeah. the Fiji water there is just like, it's like trash. To them. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. oh, we got Fiji, Fiji water on our asses hilarious. here. It's so exactly. cheap. Like, they're just like handing you Fiji water for they're, free everywhere. They're not like, like, we we import our, our water from Flint, Michigan. Yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, America water. <laughs> it's exotic. America, America water. America. He'll help make your Plenty of nasty chemicals. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, what's next? Bora Bora water. Yeah, you gotta go do get the, the whole bottle water. But bottle water. Pizzy. Oh, I love it. It's pizzy. Easy, Easy peasy. Easy pizzy. Hot and greasy. Uh, I believe that that was one of the names that Brandon came up with. And yeah. everybody was like, you know you spelled it wrong, right? It's not, he wanted it to be easy peasy. But it's spelled easy peasy. Yeah. Pizzy. <laughs> easy peasy. Uh, that's Brandon for you. That is Brandon for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think Brandon and Mark Stewart and John... Did most of the business names. They're pretty good. Like Mark Stewart did a lot of really good business. Yeah. Stuff. I love how it's just right. Out. Actually, let's see. Do do we have? It's, it's there's one on the street. Huh? Yeah, right here. I don't know if what happens here anymore. I know oh, yeah, like Sunset TV. Yeah, I don't know if nope. we actually can view it or if it's dead. I thought there was a final episode that like there was supposed to be. But maybe I mean it's clearly dead. Yeah, it looks like it's not running there. I gotta do some stuff for them. Huh. All right. Well, yeah. maybe not. Maybe that is dead. Um, I know, like Microsoft loved that though, and they were they like uh, that was like I know like that partially. I think it was part of like the what? So I can't. TV? I can't tell when he says something like Microsoft loved that. Like no, they do. Tell. They always they, okay. they always tell us like about. It. And then I know their new like monthly Xbox Inside Xbox program was partially inspired by oh, Sunset good. TV. Yeah, yeah. Um, though that has a way bigger budget than Sunset TV did. <laughs> 
Greater than zero? How could that be? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's part of the reason we have this room is yeah. due to Sunset TV right because Brandon Winfrey like screaming Sunset TV yeah, like every yeah. single week right, out in right. a public space like. Well, and it was, I don't know if you remember, but uh, he would be filming over here, and any time I walked by, I would just yell, Shut up, Brandon! I think and a couple of those made the show. Yeah. And it, I interrupted so many different sh shoots, it was great. Lesson learned, I'm a jerk. Oh yeah, this is where you have to pump right, the, the water the falling, out. Yeah, it's like a Zelda level. Uh, fucking water temples, man. Water temples. Water temples are the worst. <laughs> Uh, Neo Sism, thanks for the follow, as well as Sukyata90 and Eric Metterer. That feels like a real name. Eternal Dragon, Burris, Mr. Koala, thank you all for following. Yeah, internet, way to go. Oh, yeah, you gotta grind and hit these. That's right. God, we've already been on an hour. Yeah, it went by fast. It went by very fast. Only got like 10 to 15 minutes left. Back. I was gonna say, it's like. Someone who doesn't work, I'm just like, yeah, another hour. <laughs> yeah, the, the weekends don't mean so another, much. Another, so another hour, work, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, just, I thought we were, I thought we were hanging out until I don't know when. I think this is it. I got, I, I got nowhere to go. I got nowhere else to go. <laughs> got oh, 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 I forgot the about that. The water was filled with OD. Now who was this? Who was How did we be? No. Shoot, who was it? Bmath, how do you know? I don't know. I feel feels right. It's not the hot dog factory though. I don't remember. You would think I remember. Well, the hot dog factory. I remember whoever it was and me Ugh. driving each other insane, but I can't remember. Who was it? Is it natural wood on the side? Okay. I wish I had kept this one. I, yeah. I got rid of this one and the the one of the city. I still have the the uh, one with the sort of skull with the natural yeah, wood yeah. on it. Mm. It's on my wall, but. Do you think you can do a kickflip no. just on a blank board? No. I don't think I can either. I don't think I can do anything right now. I think I should try it though. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Wow, that was uh, loud. That was loud. Uh, oh, you no, did it. That, no, I mean, that no. kind of counted. Yeah, right? he landed upside down. Oh, landed right. upside down. Right. As long as it made a loud noise, I'm okay. You should, uh, you should go out to skate lab sometime. I don't, you know what? You real s no, what it is is I grew up with no real oh. skate placing. Or skate places. I always had to be like in the weird ditches yeah, yeah. and weird stuff. So now when I go to actual skate parks, it's all so smooth and perfect that it feels weird. Okay. I can't do it. Like my feet don't yeah, slide yeah. right. Huh. So I have to go to like old weird ditches. It's just my people. It's the coolest damn thing. I totally forgot about that too. You are familiar. Oh, one more. Are you familiar with the rule of three? Emergency. All video gamers <laughs> are. <laughs> That's great. I'm sure most players hated that, but I thought it was funny. Yeah, there was a few people that were like offended by this game, but, like it's because they felt like I remember what it was. I remember a couple of the reviews where people like. Oh, that's right. Oh, this is where we introduced the um, spawners. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's yeah. right. The, the tr uh, dumpster guys. Yeah, the dumpster OD. I can't remember. I know. It's crazy how long, how not long ago it was. But long enough. God, and I should remember because I'm like... Yeah. We, every day we would review all these. Heavily involved in all of this stuff. Is this Neil? Spotter. It was called Spotter. It's Spotter. Neil, right? No. b -Man? I don't know. Somebody log in who knows better. Know. If, if, if an insomniac who knows is watching in the chat, you should tell us. That way we can stop obsessing. Mm -hmm. See, I love how he runs away too. Like he starts getting hit, and he's like, "I gotta get Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm gonna spawn more. I love it. Of course. Yeah. And then, like, when you start mixing, when these guys get mixed in with like the other. That's right. And that's when he starts throwing. Does he the one who starts throwing up on the the up top? The top top. Yeah, I think it's kind of the first time you see it. Yeah, because there they are. It's really good. And then even then they can jump on top of roofs and stuff. If you weren't leveled up and you didn't know what you were doing, it was a pretty tough fight. This was a tough fight. In a good way, I hope. Yeah. I hope. Um, yeah, <laughs> or a controller throw. I'm, 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 I'm not doing great right now. No, you're yeah. not. But it's hard to do great whenever you're talking and no, your name somebody, is James Stevenson. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, my I mean, name makes everything difficult for me. That's for sure. Somebody was just coughing outside the front door that sounded like a fake cough. Like, like all right, door, guys. let me in. I've got a meeting in here. We rent this out on the side for like porn shoots. Mm. 
How, how are people offended by Sunset Overdrive? Some people are asking. Well, no, I think some people like like kind of mildly offended by like the, like they felt like we were just like making fun, fun of, of video games, games yeah. rather than like kind of just enjoying the dumbness. I guess. Like, yeah, I think that was the main thing. Was just like video games are an awesome interactive arts are not. They, there's like a a very narrow description of what they are, and we wanted to widen that out back to the, like the it's just fun for no good it's reason. Just a game. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, take the like sacred uh, sacrosanctness yeah. out of it. Nothing makes sense in Mario. That's the thing. Mario is like, our like most the most beloved surreal. video game, and yet no one ever enters that fray of like it's a game. The end. This was that whole thing. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, yeah, that, that was a big thing. I like it Mario's doesn't all have to be Death Stranded, people. Thanks, for all, the people who are, thanks for all the people who are writing and saying that they, they enjoyed the oh, game. Shit. So it's really uh, it's really nice hearing that people, people yeah. like it. We, we fooled you. We got you. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Thank you. Yes, we love this game. Yeah, a lot, of people, a lot of people ended up playing this game. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And it was, it was great. We had a good time. I feel like this has to be Neil because I feel like I got... I feel like... For s I feel like I certainly got really angry at him for having all those bodies come out <laughs> because I'm sure it like destroyed like the frame, the frame layer rate. was wasted. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, right, guys, can't we just keep our eye on the prize? And yet, like, it's awesome. And of course, keeping an eye on the prize meant making it where the frame rate didn't die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try not to kill the frame rate. Oh, hello, yeah. hello. Okay, so now oh, you have, have to carry, carry it. This I back. forgot I had oh, to carry right. it. Oh, my God. And I'm trying to, did we do this just to make it more difficult, or is it we couldn't it figure out how to make it work with the I think the it was because, like, I think we just wanted to make a okay. change. So you couldn't use a crowbar, but you needed to use grind rails. Right. I think it was, like, forcing you to, like, yeah. if you hadn't learned how to traverse by this point, this forces you to yeah, be able to traverse because right, there's nothing you can do. And so it's probably partially that. Like, well... We better make sure they know what they're doing by now, otherwise you're never going to get through the rest of this game. So, uh, Cheap Time, the band that had done a lot of stuff for us, they've broken up. Oh, no. Dance, Dan Sartain is now doing this, like, really amazing uh, New York dance music type thing that's very different than this. Uh, Bronx are still around, doing awesome. I'm trying to think of our other bands. Meat Market, I think, is still around. I occasionally get song kicked. Concert venue things from those guys. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on who else we got. Uh, this is the review that you're talking about. From one of the reviews, what Sunset Overdrive was shooting for was punk. Where it landed oh, was more alternative. Right, 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 right. That kid, that guy, that guy. He's reached out to you and yeah. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, he, he thought we were trying to be punk, but we're not trying to be punk at all. People get so caught it's up in very genres and. Theoretical. It was academic. Review. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That. Fuck that. I don't know, you don't have to like the game, but... Yeah, it's fine, but don't yeah. knock us down for Tra thinking that we want to... I love 100% water may contain trace amounts of the following. We won yeah. part two, campaign was lit, and the online was on fuego, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I love I love the, 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 the ongoing with every game, the ongoing who owns the rights and what would it take oh, to yeah, make yeah, another yeah. one yeah. and stuff. Like, I just think it's great that like the question gets asked like every five minutes. Why does Insomniac make another? Oh, someone yeah, yeah, else would yeah, be yeah. like, oh, it's this and this and this. Well, actually, they own the right. But then, I know. Then That's because just, online, everyone's an expert, even if they don't know anything. No, else. but I mean, it's true. A lot of people do know. It's just funny that, like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, well, we let's set the record straight. FAQ, we own, right? Insomniac Games owned the IP of yeah. Sunset Overdrive. Right. We could make a Sunset Overdrive sequel if we can find a good publishing partner who is willing to make it. Uh, and that's the end. Yeah. And in terms of the first game, that is a Xbox One exclusive. That's an Xbox One exclusive. Microsoft uh, was a great business partner and, and creative partner, and we had a lot of uh, uh, great development. Um, they decided not to do a sequel. Right. And but, you know, if, if you are... You know what? If you, Internet, anyone watching, is like a billionaire and just wants to make, have us make a game just for you... I'll make a Sunset Overdrive sequel just for you. Why It'll be amazing. Why don't billionaires spend their money on that? Like I wish they would, right? It'd be like, uh, it'd be like that Wu Tang album. It'd be like the Wu Tang album. Yeah, the Wu Tang like, yeah, Except I don't want to. We do that game for this Martin Yeah, I would, Schre 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 yeah, I would not make What's, Sunset Overdrive yeah, 2 for yeah. Martin Shrekel. Shrekel. One, one person, well, there's one disc of it. Like, there's one single disc. Plus, he can't play for. He's going to prison for 10 years, right? So Yeah, so he can't play it. Well, that'd be a good game development time. Like, we could make a really good game of that. Well, you're in prison. We'll have a game ready for you on the way up. Here's yeah. your disc. 
Uh, wow. So that was wait. That hold was on. A, high impact. I got about one hundred fifty dollars. That close enough? Yes. You can send it to Drew Murray, care of Insomniac Games. Yeah, do that. We get right to work on on it. Uh, uh, somebody says I'm at uh, High Impact, but High Impact were actually a development house made up of a lot of people from here, so that made a lot more sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. they were like our almost an extension. They were splinter, yeah. even though they were not related. Really they were related. Right well. Um, yeah. So that was 75 minutes. Which All right. was our show. You know what? Cool. Uh, Thanks, guys. The fact that I'm in an hour without taking my pants off during a Sunset Overdrive like retrospective—that's awesome. I did Good ask job. Drew to bring his kangaroo god piece. Sorry. Mm. So my daughter's probably gonna want to watch this. And oh, yeah. Yeah. well, okay, that's probably good. That you don't do that to me. We'll do. You don't want to explain. Well, we're gonna have an we're gonna have an adult version podcast next time. Okay, all right. Um, we will continue playing Sunset Overdrive. Uh, not always with Drew, you know. I mean, though, you know, no, we should. Like, always, yeah, I got uh, nothing yeah. else to do. So. so yeah, you can come over and stream with us. Uh, so we'll just like we did with Resistance Three. That's actually a great series. We oh yeah, we played, played all of Resistance Three. Yeah, yeah I know. Did you guys play through the whole game? Yeah, we ended up playing through the whole game. Wow. I think I was the only consistent. Part of it because yeah. James wasn't there for a while. Corey had to play one of the. I can't of imagine it. seeing. It was great. Uh, Joel, Adam, Cam. I don't know. You can look it up. Yeah, you can always click that. I'll click yeah. those Twitch videos. We have all the old ones, and there's like a whole playthrough series of Resistance Three, which is really informative about that game. We're going to be doing that now with Marcus and Sunset Overdrive over the next few months. Is it true? Maybe longer. Yeah. Were you going to ask me about that? Well, I assumed you would be willing to come play Sunset. Overdrive. Maybe if you bring Drew back, I'll come. All right. Yeah. Anytime. Hey, internet. Yeah. We love you so much. You just no. It is not possible to take Sunset Overdrive One to any other console. Nope, that's not an possible. exclusive. Like it's a graphic exclusive. Very much like Spider-Man is only ever going to be on PlayStation Four. Yep. Sunset Overdrive will only ever be on Xbox One. So there you go. Uh, All right. And I will only ever be on this sofa. I hope so. You're show. sleeping here now, right? It's really good to see you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good to be here. It's good to be here. It was crazy. There was like a mini, like, it was like a high school reunion happening out in the hall. <laughs> it, it was. Uh, I'm sure it like, holy continue. shit, Drew Murray's It'll here. It'll continue when we leave. So, sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I imagine we're going to get paraded around real quick. It's it's fun, fun seeing everybody. It's been, a, been a lot, two and a half years since I've been here. Look, internet's thanking us. Thanks, internet. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. And, yeah, that's all for now. We'll be back. Actually, I think we're going to come back tomorrow because North Carolina's busy, so we'll be back at tomorrow at 11 a.m. What are we if, doing tomorrow? I don't know yet. I need to go figure that out. Uh, and then Wednesday we're doing that, but Friday, God of War. God of War. God of War. I'm going to play God of War on Friday, which I'm very what? excited about. Well, what are you going to play? God of War. Yeah, that's very good. The first one on God PS3, War, though, God or on PS2, not the PS4 one. Oh, okay. I'm just joking. We're playing the PS4 one. No, um, uh, Microsoft exclusive. Yeah, excuse me. So that's everything for now. Those, it's funny. Those are Sunset Overdrive pillow. These are yeah. That is a Sunset Overdrive pillow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vasily. It's like all the ads. Yeah, there was a, there was a celebrity party and they made these and then we stole them all. At the and end. they worked. Yeah, awesome. Of course. Perfect. I have a bunch at my house actually. Yeah. Saying. How do you think I ended up with so many skateboards? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks all right, for watching. We'll see Bye you tomorrow guys, at 11 a.m. Thank Thanks for streaming with us. Bye. Blah, blah, blah.